This is the island of Tana. Throughout the long Arctic winter, it's encircled by ice. But as spring approaches, that begins to break up, and seabirds that have spent the winter feeding out on the open ocean far to the south begin to return. Its isolated position and steep cliffs make Talan a perfect nesting site. The tufted puffins arrive first. These are the Pacific cousins of our less spectacular Atlantic species. Horn puffins soon follow. In all, 14 different species return to Talan each spring, and in just a few weeks, the once silent of four million breeding seabirds. This is a multi-story avian city. Assembling in these dense colonies, after having spent a largely solitary life at sea, provides the birds with the social stimulation that is the key to coordinating their breeding. Nesting and laying together, they ensure that most of their chicks will leave the nest at exactly the same time. Just like the turtles, this is the way they spread the patrol the top of the cliffs, looking out for any kitty-wake that ventures too far from the rock face. Suddenly, the huge eagle stoops with the aerial agility of a fox. Coordinating panic among the kitty-wakes confuses their attack. give up. seabird on Talan has a particularly effective way of defending itself against predators, but it doesn't appear until now before sunset. As if from nowhere, dense swarms of seabirds suddenly arrive offshore. They spent the day feeding far away, where the sea ice has already broken up. <laughs> 